give you instructions in the dressing room. We have any questions? Okay, the belly button's in the demarcation line. The such wasn't going to work. Good luck. When you look at both guys together, the physical difference is immediately apparent. Holyfield bigger. Nearing 20 years as a pro, still looking phenomenal. Tony's desired weight, as mentioned, was uh, closer to 200, came in closer to 220. The extra weight may help him on the inside against a strong guy like Holyfield, but will it affect, bottom line, what kind of shape is Tony in? We'll soon find out. Well, the first punch of the fight for Van der There's a surprise. Yeah, he knows he's got to throw that punch, and uh, he must use the jab. Part of the problem with that, oh, yeah, we'll see in this fight whether it's back. There's a wild left hook attempt there, but has he discovered already the answer to Tony's style? The defensive fighter. But the way you beat him is you do, there it is. Holyfield knows what to do, and he's doing it here in this round. On the inside, too many arm punches. And of course, he's been through a lot of wars in the Kronk Gym. If he's ever felt the power of an Evander Holyfield, although Holyfield throughout his career, simply by Tony, a very good first round for the legendary Holyfield, who just oh, made oh, Tony oh. buckle with a body shot. Picture-perfect first round. It's graphic. And here, we will see Holyfield ripping the hooks. He comes here with a, an excellent hook right to the so face. Far, that repaired shoulder is working. We take yet another look at it. And what makes this special is it was a very short... And this is the end of the round where they were rumbling a little bit after the bell. Again, the hook is in by uh, Holyfield. And they have the bell. Certainly not the same Evander Holyfield we saw in his last fight. Back again, and is using it with uh, great dispatch. Tony trying to, to throw that left, misses with the right. Tony jabbing more now and using his spurts. He's not just trying to... There's a beautiful jab stuffed in there by uh, Holyfield. James Tony wants this fight in the center of the ring. You can see he is trying desperately to see being more aggressive, though, here in this second round. Starting to get some of his punches off. A slight more cutesy now. That's his style, that tricky... Slipping, the shifting. Another blow, Evander. Nestle's doing a good job committing to the body. So Since that big first round. Nice, quick, in left hook for the jaw. Maybe doing enough to steal this round. But he got him on the inside with a left stop, stop, hook uppercut. Stop. A better round for James Tony. Right for rounds in 30 seconds. Right? He's doing nothing. He's trying to steal the rounds on you, right? Don't let that happen, okay? When you hear that 10 seconds. Feel anxious to work the body. And that one, eh, right on the border. And then he tries to double. A lot of moments in that last round, actually. And you're not supposed to be able to hook with the left hand. And we enter round three, scheduled for 12. A heavyweight non-title bout. You know, Holyfield landed that big right. You're very subtle. Oh, he's 41 years of age. You can't always sustain what you want over the course of a round when you're 41. And here comes Tony. See, Rockman uh, could tell you about it. Left right combination upstairs did have full impact. He's not prepared for that. And he, he just wipes off the sweat off the shoulder as if to say that. Danger legs. When you, when you hit these corners, watch around. Holyfield was able to do something you seldom can do against Tony. Land a good right hand, but you see how well Tony. And later on in the round, dare I say the hand speed of James Tony, which is apparently at this juncture difference lead. right now. I'm not saying it's dazzling at this point, but it's certainly better than Holyfield. He's trying to indicate to the judge that he hit the veteran.
midfield working the body. Tony himself coming back, that's what he does. He counters off those ropes effectively. Holyfield, Holyfield has a fight on his hands, water. Tony. As we head into round five, scheduled for 12. Face. Flicking the jab, doing it all, twisting it. Oh, heavy right hand showing the chin of Holyfield. Press row scoring, it's all knotted up. That fourth round was a close round. What's your handy, Vander? Shows that he's in control of this fight. That is it right now. The fight. Don't hook with a hooker. Again, doubling on left is James. Beautiful combination upstairs by James Tony. A countering right, but Holyfield couldn't when they fight. With fighters stand on his right side and can't land any punches. It's a point here. Now he moves the left. Time, time! Big flurry at the end of the uh, round. Can't block the right hand. And the combinations from James Tony. One of the keys to victory. He had to throw more than one An incredible look of concern on his face. Perhaps underestimating James Tony. You know, after a textbook for a body shot by Tony, and you saw since then it has been all James Tony. Now again, Tony. Wow, he is just devastating at Vander Holyfield now, and Holyfield's point that is true. It is uh, very easy to say that the extra weight. Evander is doing exactly what he did against Chris Burr. What the reason for that? I've seen James. I've I've been on broadcast 15 or 20 James Tony fights. You can't, you gotta get to your left hand. Right. in with left hands to Holyfield's body. Has to be wearing the tear and the exhaustion. Oh, what a right hand by Tony Ramos. Pretty, pretty interesting. Now he's going backwards, but he swings back. Perhaps out of frustration, going back to the head body. Punching by Tony is simply too much right now for Holyfield. Talking to the judge and saying, hey, I landed that. You wouldn't expect to see in this fight. The right hand's been a very important weapon for his head. And banged Tony said, did it again. So Jay David, I think the point deduction soon wouldn't be bad. And almost whispering tones in the Holyfield. Over, so you punch under. Let's see. What feel? And it may be that he's just so bubbling with confidence right now. He strutted back to his, uh, which Tony slipped. That is what he's facing. Don't hold, don't hold. Scores unofficial. Here's your press row, people. They've got Tony now inching up in the last five or six fights, and it's continuing here, James Tony. But he keeps not enough punches coming for the Red Hood. We don't know at this juncture if he can hurt him. Beautiful. Get that back. That's the way. Keep turning this guy for me, okay? All right? Are right, you in? Take it. Take it. I believe. He would beat Holyfield to the punch. He has done that. You notice Holyfield throws the hook, but it's blocked by Tony. Look at the he is that. An aficionado of legends yeah. by Holyfield out of nowhere. Right hand. Tonight, he won't step away from the sport. It is going to take a freight train. A Walcott, Ezra Charles, and a fighter who he really reveres Rocky Nation. He reveres Marciano because he was a small heavyweight. Now this since 1997, Tony. Now he's getting really cute. He's got to be careful. As Tony continues to press forward, Holyfield trying to escape there. Again, nothing. Comes back with a couple of soft left hands. These right hands, which he just got hit by again. There it is again. And going to cross. And Evander Holyfield, as you check out the press row scoring, it continues to Tony. Oh, there's a short left hook. That's not her. Tony. He's going for it all here. He's throwing it all to Tony now. Get, uh, a dramatic turnaround, Holyfield. Oh, this fight could be moments or at least a minute or two away from ending. Yes. We may be seeing the end of an era. Six. Are you all right? Seven. You sure you're okay? Come to me. Eight. James Tony has stopped the event. Tell 
tell us what's going through your mind here. He don't hit hard enough to uh, get right there. Right there, it was just uh, balancing, and it was a good shot. It was a shot that knocked me down, but it wasn't, you know, the shot that... Look in the mirror and closely examine his future as a result of this performance. And think about where he's at. And I think most people would say the conclusion is inescapable. He made the key point, and that's what happens when you get too old to continue in boxing. He even made the point. It was a classic Available, point, but couldn't get them in. And the third thing is, he did hit James Tony with big punches. And Tony, he may fight again, but for all intents and purposes, could he be done? This could be the last walk. It's not to denigrate Tony, but he was dominated. He brings grace and elegance to in many cases, and this is one of them. He obviously, uh, Al, still has plenty of fight right. left in him. It, it was a fast. Thank you, Steve. And so tonight we witness the probable end of an era and a breakthrough performance for a new.